What's up everybody, my name is Scooch and welcome to what remains of Edith Finch. I got this game recommended to me by a lot of people but I don't know a single thing about it and I didn't read anything about it because I think that going into games blind is one of the funnest things you could do. So without further ado, let's jump in. There's no real title menu, you just kind of start on this, uh, on this boat I guess. Edith Finch, okay, alright. Let's read what this is. Do I have a cast? Yeah, that's definitely a cast. Okay, hello? I'm trying to turn the page. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Okay. Is that the house? That's a very wacky looking house. It looks like it's fresh out of a Dr. Seuss book, right? Or like a Hello Neighbor, the house that I kind of. I sure until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. The house that looks like it doesn't stand up on its own? The house from Hello Neighbor? You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's go to this wacky Dr. Seuss house. And at the, um, hello? Eh. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. Oh. But they weren't opened. I wonder what that means. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh. Uh-oh, that's heavy. I haven't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh, that's cool that they put the words there. I like that. Very stylistic. Enjoying it so far. Oh, well, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. I'm guessing it worked? Because I'm back. Right? So, I mean, I guess your mom kind of had you, uh, had you figured out. God, this game is so weird already. I'm so enticed because of how weird that I house looks. I haven't driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. It, there's the deer. You're the one leaving the hoof prints. Where you going, buddy? Hey, Bambi, come back here. I just want to talk a little bit. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now hmm. I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Hmm. Yeah, look at this. Look at how wacky this house is. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. Is this, is this a dream? I really can't tell, and that's what makes it so fucking cool. As a child? <laughs> The house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. What? I we're... was afraid of the house. Yeah, I'd be a fucking afraid of this house too, looking like it's gonna fall over any second. Holy shit, it, was your room at least on ground floor or are you fucking gonna fall from 90 stories just by one tiny earthquake? A deer could run into the side and the whole house would come toppling down. Hello? Hello? Prowling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. I could imagine why. I mean, if it's still easy, then maybe you didn't, you know, grow that much. Uh, uh, uh. The power had been turned off the night we left. And it's still not on. Is there a flashlight? For the first time in years, I felt like I was home. Hmm. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Edith is the girl. Brother's funeral would be Eddie. No, Lewis, right? Eddie is the grandma? Lewis is the one that died because they mentioned brother's funeral. So I am Edith Finch. Uh, in loving memory of Lewis Finch, beloved brother to Edith, son of Don, great grandson to Eddie, memorial service, Finch Family Cemetery, 2141 Fireweed Road. So it is Lewis that died. Yeah, I was right. Okay. Well, at least we have all that. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Mm. Optimistic cat. Let's see. This is how you make apple pie. They got sick of, they got sick of eating salmon, so they started baking things. That's pretty cute. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, 
So we had Chinese a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be afraid to deliver to this house, too, to be honest. Okay, let's go this way. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. Interesting metaphor. What's in this? Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Hmm. Okay, that's not what the key was for. God, there's there's so much to take in. So if I ever quiet down, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of trying to analyze everything. Because, you know, obviously I want to start figuring everything out as soon as I can. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Is that why this house looks so wacky? Because it's, uh, it's trying to be in place of something that actually existed and was possibly a stabler foundation than this Dr. Seuss nonsense we got going on? Hello? Such a pretty freaking house. Can I go can I go out there? Nope. Yep, there's no jump button, so let's just The table was still around. a wreck from the night we left. The night you left. Maybe I could find clues as to why they left. Here's where Edie sat. This is where Lewis sat. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine great grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Mmm. Mmm. What happened? I want to know what happened because it, they obviously left in a hurry. They didn't even bring fucking Edie's chair or her oxygen, meaning there was just an, an, a need for a rush. Bunch of food everywhere. Okay. Hmm. And then the brother died. I don't know if that's a... Uh, I don't know if that's attached to to whatever uh, sort of problem, whatever sort of problem uh, attacked them that forced them to leave so fast. I came from over here. All right, let's go upstairs. Up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. Dun -dun -dun. Here's where Edie used to ride to go up the stairs. Oh, maybe the maybe the lock opens this mysterious door. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. In the library? Except for Lewis, right? Because we read over there that he was buried in the, uh, in the graveyard or whatever. Oh, no, that's where his memorial my was. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Oh, another, another finch went, went under... Besides Lewis, her brother Milton went missing. That's why he wasn't in the, uh, in the photo over there. That was probably after. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Hmm? Okay, maybe in here. Calvin. My Grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother. Calvin. Huh? Okay. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Okay. Strange. Very, very strange. The mom went crazy in a different way than I've ever seen in video games. She went like super crazy. Also patriotic room. I respect it. I respect it. Hmm. Maybe over here. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Barbara. Who's that? Was that your aunt or something? Barbara Finch. Barbara. Barbara was a child star for two years, until America grew out of it. It's a sad way to put it. All the rooms are so stylized. I really do hope that I, uh, that I get to go in and check them out and look around, because all the rooms are so gosh darn different. Are we going up there? Yes, we are going up here. Hello? Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. 
Why? I'm wondering why everything's locked. Obviously, I'm gonna figure it out. No need to get antsy. But I am just totally... I am in shock, but also... Hello? Very curious. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. See, so far we have the room of a painter, we have the room of a patriot, which was the dead brother one, and then we have this shagadelic room. Looks like Austin Powers lived in this one. And then, and then that's it. That's what we've checked so far, and obviously the child star over there. Hmm, 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 hmm. There's obviously more to explore, so let's keep it going. Molly. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. So, okay, maybe... I don't know, I'm trying to put things together, obviously too early, but... Maybe the rooms... Maybe the house had to keep building upwards because a room was meant for one person and that's it. And after they died, they just kept the room as part of the house. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Great Uncle Walter. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Oh. All right, all right. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Wow. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Whoa, that was so cool. It was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Reading mm -hmm. this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Milton but was here. I had here. no idea what was behind that door. Hello? Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. So Milton is here? I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before hmm. my mom sealed the doors. December 13th, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. This is a flashback in a flashback, which I just want to say is one of the most meta things I've ever seen in my life. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. God, what the heck? It's so messed up. These are kids. Oh, maybe, maybe through the, maybe through this, through this thing over here. Wait, hello? Hello? I kept eating and eating. She ate toothpaste? I ate a lot of things that night. And random berries? Oh no! That's super poisonous, little girl. At least I can imagine it's poisonous. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Uh huh. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly. I was a cat! What? Well, I'm, I'm so quiet, confused. The bird was really scared. Hello, bird. I'm just trying to talk. Where'd it go? 
Where did that darn bird go? This is really cute, but it's so weird. Come back, boy. I jumped and I almost got her. Where, where's it at? Boydy! I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Wow. Jeez, I uh, fucking am so in love with the, the direction of everything so I far. Gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Oh, am I going for a rat now? Little teeth nibbling in the grass. Where are you, little teeth? Over here. Come here. Come here, little rabbit. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up, and I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. As an owl? What can owls eat that are bigger than rabbits? Also, I don't think owls can swallow rabbits whole. I'll, albeit I'm not an owl expert, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. A mama rabbit. A mama rabbit, ah, yes. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. Like just in the tree? <laughs> it didn't it didn't teleport me. It didn't teleport me in the water, so now I'm just a shark on land. The most useless thing ever. This is such a weird acid dream this kid had. But obviously, children, imaginations, I right? Off the cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Fat, juicy seals. Bro, you're not a seal at all. Where are the seals at? Seals would be uh, towards the surface, right? What the? You are a seal. Whoopsie daisy. I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. Where did that little seal go? I am literally the worst predator ever. If anything, we have learned that Scooch would not cut it as a shark. Thank God I was. I was given the task of human. I grabbed on tight. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Am I a slithery snake now? Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. Now I'm a monster? What does that even mean? I really, I am curious as to what I am. I was big, but I moved real quiet. Yeah, super sneaky like. This guy's never gonna see it coming. Come here, come here, sir. Ooh. Ooh, let's see if I can find any of his homies. Hello? Hello? Upstairs we go. I wanted to stop 
but also I didn't. This is a dream, right? It obviously has to be a dream. Jesus. Jesus. That is rough. All right, we're going outside now. To eat whoever's out here. Eh. Where are you? Where are you, sir? Wait, excuse me, excuse me. Just gonna slither my way in here real quick. Here we go. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. What can it be now? I went through all stages of I being a predator. Onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. What can I be needing to eat now? I just ate people. There's literally nothing above that on the food chain. Hello? Uh-oh. Am I gonna eat myself? I got closer and closer. Yeah, what? Hello? This is weird. This is really weird. How do I climb? All my stomachs. All my stomach started growling. Started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I oh. held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. <laughs> Okay. All right. What happened to Molly? Did she just go missing or something? I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Huh? So that's what Molly looked like. Oh, that's crazy. It's a cat. Wait, wait. Before I leave... Oh, never mind. I can't go back in. I was gonna look under the bed to see if I could find something. This but will be I guess obvious not. later. But my mom never told me any of these stories. Hmm. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Hmm. Well, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Okay. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. We got along, and it was a good place to hide from my mom. Dragon told kills people Finch. Sven was killed by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. Mm. She could have, but she didn't. Mmm, that's sad. That's really sad. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Oh! This is the... This the only trace the, Grandpa the Sam's one, first right? wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Grandpa it Sam's was a pretty big trace. Yeah, these are. <laughs> I'm gonna admit this bathroom is pretty ugly. Hello? By okay. There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Eddie Finch. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Hello? Jesus Christ, this house is so well thought out. Hello? Okay, uh, right here. Calvin Finch. Born April 1950-something and died September 23rd. He died at the age of 11? Okay. Okay. Sven. 
Fort Calvin. Calvin? Can I walk out? Oh, I can see myself. That's weird. A lot of games don't let you see your feet. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. Mm -hmm. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Hmm. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. <laughs> Damn it! At Barbara's funeral, he swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Sam! Calvin! Dinner's ready! Oh my god! But this that is day, bad! He finally made up his mind to do it. Oh no! He's I gonna told jump! Him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Oh my goodness. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. Oh no, here it comes. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Oh, here it comes. The day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. My god! What is with this fucking family? Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Except you kind of, you know, lived. Wow, what the heck? Yeah, that was the kid who died at, at the age of 11. That, what is with this family? Everyone is just dying. Is everyone dead? Or is everyone not dead? And I don't know. I'm confused as heck. And I think this is going to be a really fun game to figure everything out on because it's so freaking weird. But we did hit the 30 minute mark, so I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video or if you like this series, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, or do whatever you can to remind me that I'm awesome because I think that you're awesome and you have an awesome face and I hope you have an awesome day. Until the next episode, I will see you again. What the fuck? There's like three dead kids already. Two? Two dead kids? Hmm. Three. One of them went missing. One of them flew off the swing. And then one of them got eaten by a monster. Fuck.